Hi and welcome to Fishing WA. Well, it doesn't get much better than this. Have a look at that, the mighty great escape. Well, we're here for four days. We've got an awesome show lined up. Let's check it out. On today's show, Ryan and Harry are off to fish the Walcott River in the Kimberley, having fun and getting into some lively fish first. Then they go searching for some tasty mud crabs for a feed. Well, Fishing WA is amongst the beautiful Kimberley, and this time the guys are fishing the mouth of the Walcott River. Making their way towards the incredible Great Escape Mothership, Ryan and Harry head back from a morning fishing session. And if you missed last week's episode, what they actually caught was some rather big, impressive barramundi. The Great Escape is an incredible 50-foot charter boat, completely decked out with everything you need. And when you return to it after a morning's fish, you're greeted with breakfast. And the breakfast is wonderful, as is all the food on this excellent charter. It's all part of the parcel on this incredible experience, as well as the added bonus that you can't go on a trip like this without having the opportunity to meet some incredible people along the way. Well, the next morning, it was time to go for another fish in one of the river inlets during the low tide. The guys head to a few different spots in hope of finding some good fish in this remarkable river system. All right, well, we've just been up to the Upper Eagle and whilst there's a lot of bait and activity, it just went a bit quiet and we uh, moved around a few different spots, got into obviously some fish, but we thought if we drop back a little bit to the mouth of, or the entrance to Eagle Creek, there's some nice deep sort of uh, oyster rock bars here. Being deep drop off oysters, generally mangrove jack, finger muck brim, pikey brim or what it may be. So what we'll do is we're gonna throw out the softies. So gonna sink it down, well I'm gonna go softy. I think Harry's staying with the minnow lure. So we're just mixing it up a little bit, different techniques. Soft plastic, cast it out, let it sink down, twitch it back. If I get a strike, I'll freeze ball it and hopefully uh, show you a fish. The spot that the guys were in looked quite fishy and their guide, Fenzi, was quite confident that they would get some fish from this area and apparently some pretty good ones too. See back down again? Oh yeah, and I gotcha. Oh yeah. <laughs> Excellent. I want okay. to back if I can, please. Close quarter fighting. <laughs> Gotta love this, Harry. Oh no, he's just done me in. He's just going right through the rocks. Oh, absolutely. Oh, oh. it's a good fish. Oh, that it is. Yeah, he just bit, of, bit of thumb burning. Oh, look at that. Fish and WA rod, uh, Harry, in action. Yeah. Gotta love that bait caster. Look at that. Oh, he's done you too. <laughs> <laughs> so he's got your soft plastic. He's got my little minnow. Luckily we're sponsored. Yeah. <laughs> and you got a spear or something? <laughs> well, it looks like the boys will have to rig up again, as their line's looking a little bit worse for wear. But it wasn't long until another fish came out to play again. Gotcha. You're coming in this time. What do we got here? Oh, what do we got here? Didn't give him any opportunity this time, Harry. No? No, we, we got, got a bit of jack. Back. That's a finger mark, yep. Ah. Yep, you can see the black dot there, back of the tail, hence the finger mark name. Look at that, just love that softy, there's no one below him. What I did is I actually dropped the softy down, got a hit, free spoiled it, and he took it on the drop, which they normally do. Geez, sort of close quarter fighting around here. After losing that fish, Harry, I wasn't gonna uh, <laughs> let around. this one get off <laughs> lightly. So we'll pull it out of the water and give everyone a bit of a close look. Finger mark. We like to mix it up here on Fishing WA. It's been a while since we put this on TV, Harry. Yeah, it's been a couple of years since we had a finger couple mark. A couple of years. So, there we go. See if we can hold them without spiking. There you go, straight out of the water. Geez, they hit hard. I enjoy brim fishing down in Perth because they hit hard and so up north as well. Finger mark brim on the uh, snapback soft plastics. One of my favourite. Up here, there's a lot of fish that obviously nab at the tail and these. Uh, uh, snapbacks basically hold on which is good so awesome for this and uh, yeah I'm getting my line back in the water some big jacks there there you go look at the colors nice golden colors there you uh, you hit hard there buddy 
I just want your bigger mum or dad. Oh, that's the sort of release I like. Self-releasing. Oh yeah, let's get back into it. Okay, what I'm going to do now is give you a close look at what I'm using now. Love these products. These are the snapback soft plastic, five inch in size, catches all different species. And these ones here are very sort of stretchy, so they're great. So a lot of teethy critters around, you're not going to use your, uh, lose your soft plastic. So McCarthy soft plastics and these ones snapbacks are my favourite. And what I'm doing is I'm using the TT 3 8 jig head. Love these, rate them highly. So super sharp. What I do is I crush the barb first thing, so I don't do damage to the fish or get it stuck into my finger. What I do then is I'll get my soft plastic. Now before I put it on there, the soft plastic I find sometimes is a little bit too long. So what I do is I'll get my braid scissors. All I do is just cut right here. Cut off the nose there, just where the eyes are, like that. Get my hook. What you do, often people say they're too hard to get onto the, uh, the jig head. They're not, I'll show you. Just put it here. What you do is you feed it through and out through the bottom end here, have it come out, and then all you do is stretch this back on. What I do is I just use my fingers in here, pull it on like that, feed it back underneath, comes out the top here, like that. So a lot of people that aren't too sure about snapback soft plastics, there you go, I've showed you how easy it is to, to rig it up there. Crushed barb, just attach my uh, Richter clip with my wind on leader, that's all it takes, pretty simple. Oh, that didn't take long. That's a good fish. Well, I love it when it all comes straight to cue. I was just saying about cast that, let it sink down and straight into it. <laughs> How's that for Kimberley fishing? Oh, you had to follow a queenie. That little queenie, yeah. How's that? There's just a few fish around here, guys. Look at that, another one. That's amazing. He's actually hit it so hard, the softy's gone as well. Have a look at that. Oh, not the softy. Not the softy, that's all right. Like I've got just a few snapbacks there. It's amazing, these fish, when they school up, they really do basically start to fire up. So I reckon we're gonna stay here for, oh, stay gentle. I reckon we're gonna stay here for a little bit longer. And I reckon we'll get more of these. Right, these fish are starting to fire up, so I'm probably gonna drop the softy back down again. And if it keeps on firing, I'm gonna uh, break it, the fly rod. And, I like these fish up north, they release themselves, nice and healthy. All right. <laughs> wow, this is awesome. Now you can see with these fishing WA rods, they're a little bit different than your normal sort of barrel rod. They've actually got a soft tip. I like that, so you can flick out soft plastics, light minnows. So they're a great rod, love these bait casters. And it's sort of around just under $200 for graphite quality bait caster. Doesn't get much better. Now that's a finger mark again. This place is still firing, it's amazing. We've caught and released so many fish, yet they're not been put down or spooked at all. Look at mine, there's one right following right there. Is that? There we go, we'll get him out of the water. Bring him up to the sunshine. Hopefully, he won't spite me. There you go. How's that for the colours there? There's some big fish there, small fish there, sort of a bit of a mixture. But I'll tell you one thing, on the light bait caster, it's all fun. These de-hookers are awesome. They're actually made out of stainless steel. Doesn't matter what brand it is, Rapala, Gladiator, they all work. What it does is fish that take the soft plastic down or hook down, allows you to grab it and take it out so you don't do damage to the fish. So fish hookouts, these are awesome. Check them out, your nearest BCF. And one by fish, steady. One by fish, going back to the water.
off he goes. Well, if you love the show and can't wait till next week to watch more, why not purchase one of our Fishing WA DVDs or one of our monthly magazines? To purchase your copies, head down to BCF, local news agencies, or why not jump online to fishingwa.com. Back into it straight away. Do you hook one fish, throw the soft out, let it sink down straight away. What do we got there? Oh, I see the big cod behind it. Oh, he's taking it. <laughs> oh, I was only going to release you, I wanted to show the camera. That's awesome. Well, as Ryan lost his soft plastic, he decided to change back to his popper. He attached it, then blooped it through the water, which made for some very visual fishing. Now sight fishing gets my blood boiling, I love it. But at the same time, you need to be able to see what you're doing. So here I'm looking basically into the water, I'm seeing the oyster rocks, I'm seeing fish come up behind my Helco uh, rooster popper. Now, a normal pair of sunnies may do it. I like to sort of spend the money and get something a little bit better. These ones here are actually the spotters. Now these spotters here are photochromatic. They're a polarizing lens that allows me to see into the water to catch more fish. So spotter sunglasses, um, sight fishing, doesn't get much better. Here we go, come on. Just following it, pause. Come on, hit it. Oh, hey, come on. Come on. He's just sitting there, come on. Hit it. Come on. Come on, hit it. How's that? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. It's right it? there. Oh, yes, and I'm on. <laughs> awesome. Now that is stalking. <laughs> now I think, um, I was speaking to um, our guide today on, on this boat, which is Fenzi, and he was saying to me, when I first got done in, He's going, look, I think it wasn't a jack. I think you got done by maybe Barramundi. I'm now thinking that I actually got done by a cod that was fairly decent before. So I'm thinking now I've got a bit of sweet revenge. Hopefully you saw that back at home there. Our cameraman was right on the money by just watching the popper. And what he did is he just stalked it. And I paused it. This is where a lot of people go wrong. They just pull the popper too fast. These fish hunt, they pause, and then they hit it hard. That was just awesome. Now, what sort of cod is this one? Fenzi? Um, estuary cod, Okay, some sort of creek estuary cod. Well, I'm pretty wrapped with that visual aspect. I might even just bring him on board, mate, as it is. With that one there, Harry? Yep. Yep. He's well and truly hooked. Count of three. One, two, three. Beautiful. I'll just lay him on the deck there. Oh, look at that little remora or something. What we'll do is we'll get the popper out and we'll give you a close look. Well, Ryan, you did well there, mate. Mate, I'm rad. That's all like stalking fish just gets me heart pumping, mate. That's awesome. The spot's starting to fire. Oh, God, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love the colours on these. Look at them. It's Basically, it's, awesome. yeah, it's, it's, it's obviously some sort of estuary type cod, but it actually looks like your uh, ranking cod you get around Exmouth and other places. But these iridescent sort of yellow fins with black dots, I just couldn't believe it. He was just sitting there stalking, stalking, and hit the... Uh, Helco Rooster 80 Popper, one of my favourite, the Helco Roosters. And mate, I'm, I'm basically impressed with that fish. I'm going to release it quickly, but because uh, he deserves to fight another day, what do you reckon? Oh, definitely. Let's get it back in, man. Okay. Nothing better than catching fish and releasing them unharmed. Happy to keep a feed, but beautiful fish like this deserve to go back in the system. Bit of blood around the mouth. It's only because... Oh, look at that. A little bit of blood around the mouth there, that's 